The micrometer screw should be in uh, at the position of 12 mm uh, initially so that it's in the center of the whole main scale. Now we start from this. This is our basic point and uh, we can go in uh, we can move the screw outside or as inside so that uh, uh, you can take the reading from the initial and the final setting of the screw. The Michelson interferometer setup requires a sodium vapor lamp which is when switched on faces the uh, input side of the your Michelson and there is a diffuser. We have to remove the diffuser to one side and with the help of this toy laser pointer we will set it up. Uh, we will set the main mirrors of the laser pointer. See how we are doing. Instead of uh, putting the light, I have pointed my laser here in the center of the uh, hole so that the both uh, uh, pointer images are visible in the center of these, these two mirrors, one and the another. And uh, instead of viewing, we have put a screen there where you will see four spots put a screen instead of viewing screen on the other side of the uh, wall and uh, you can see the spots you can see the four spots so we have to move the these two spots with the help of those screws in the main mirror and with the help of one screw you will see that these spots are brought together they are overlapped one over the other just see we are trying to do uh, now you have moved in the same direction the other screw the other adjusting screw will overlap these images like this oh, yes now they are overlap now remove the uh, laser pointer and put a, your diffuser screen over the so that the uh, uh, sodium light falls into it you can see the bands through the you can see the bands through this uh, hole and by putting the telescope yeah they are visible yes they are visible yes now with the help of these tools you can find it just so that the central ring is visible okay to take the reading we have to move this uh, vernier screw of the spherometer very slowly so that the rings are just generated or collapse inside the inside you can see through this window with the help of a telescope Just see that. These are being moved slowly. As the main screw is moved, rings high, rings are generated. So you have to bound 200 rings from the initial and final reading of the uh, uh, one year of the scale you can measure the distance traveled for generating 200 or 100 rings like this and by putting these values in the formula you can find out the wavelength of the light 